Good day, everyone. Uh, today I am with Christina again. Ta -da. And today we have a short master class on Ukrainian language. So, Christina is from Croatia. And, well, she lived in a lot of countries. You grew up in Germany as exactly. far as. Exactly. I grew up in Germany, um, first in the area of Cologne, but then we moved south to Heidelberg. Uh, later, I've been studying modern Sinology, so I've lived in China twice, in Shanghai and Beijing. And then, during my studies, I met my husband, who's Brazilian, and now I'm living here in Brazil. So, but I think that's not the end of the list. I think there are still some countries waiting for me. <laughs> okay, so as you have seen, like, there is a big, large background. And right now, we are really going to immerse into Ukrainian language. And I will try to teach you Ukrainian. Some, some, some basic stuff, but uh, let's, let's begin. And we should say, I really don't speak Ukrainian, so this is going to be a real challenge for both of us, okay? Sure, and also for you to know, this, this lesson is unprepared and it's done spontaneously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's let's begin. I think from from the verbs, and the first thing, um, let's begin from infinitive. In uh, in Ukrainian, infinitive, almost all infinitives are ended in uh, letter, two two letters, t, t, i, t, t, t. Okay, so uh, first le let's. The words which are mostly used during the daily life. Uh, first word is uh, to sleep, dormir, spate. 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 Okay. As you have noticed, spa, it is. Spa. Spar. Ah, there's spate. Spate. No, 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 no. Without, without R. Okay. Spate. Spate. So, T, t in the end. Okay. This, this, this that's means. The infinitive. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's, that means that infinitive. Okay, uh, there is another word, and we will learn the conjugation of the uh, form first, first face form. I don't know how it's called, but again, uh, I, I in the Ukrainian is uh, ya. Ya. Means I. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Now, another, another important word is hotite, means to uh, want. Hotite. Hotite. Almost without an accent. Hotite. Hotite. But this is I to want. Exactly. Now, uh, I want. Ya hochu. Ya hochu. Ya hochu. It's like Croatian. Okay. Almost. Ya hochu. Now, uh, let's see. Let's see. As you remember, word to sleep. Spate. Spate. So can you can you tell me I want to sleep? Can you construct a phrase? Ya hochu spate. Sure, no problem. Uh, almost without an accent. My subscribers from Ukraine, please check her accent. I think no accent. So I want to sleep. Ya hochu spate. Ya hochu spate. Cool. Uh, now, uh, okay. Let's see other words. Uh, Piti means to drink. How do you pronounce it? Pete. 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 Yeah. So, can you tell me, uh, I want to drink? Ya hochu pete. Sure. Uh, well, let's make a phrase uh, more, uh, more complicated, more complex. Uh, there is a word, beer, cerveja. In Ukrainian, it's pivo. 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 Pievo. No. Pivo, pivo, pivo. Pivo. Yeah. Pivo. Mm -hmm. So, can you construct a phrase? Yeah, uh, I already wanted to sell it, to sell it, say it in Ukrainian. Uh, I want to drink beer. Ya hochu pete pevo. Sure. But cool. I don't like beer so much. How do I say I would like to drink red wine? Uh, wine is vino. Vino. Uh, red wine is cervone. Cervone Veno. Cervone Veno. Ya hochu pete cervone Veno. Cool, cool. <laughs> cool. Ukrainian is easy as you, you may see. Yeah, easy, easy to construct. 
Now, um, let's, let's jump into, that was present tense. Now let's jump into past tense and future tense. Uh, past tense. Um, past tense. Past tense generally has the ending uh, for, mascul for masculine v and if v and uh, for example if you have infinitive uh, you take up you you uh, separate you take 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 off the infinitive t and add v my but it's for masculine but if you want to say for feminine both like in not in independently from a he sh uh, like if could be she it could be i if for example you're you're a woman so you also use it because feminine so past tense of a feminine in ukrainian ends in la 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 so let's uh let's try to uh conjugate uh hotite hotite in uh, to want in uh Present tense, ya hochu. Ya hochu. I want. Uh, in the past tense, you uh, took out, uh, uh, you again look at the infinitive, hotite, and you. Uh, you Take out the t. La. La. Ya hochu. La. la. I wanted. I wanted. Mm -hmm. So, right now, uh, try to construct a flight. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to. Drink mm -hmm. uh, red wine. Okay, I forgot the red wine. I no, okay, cervone, 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 vino. Vino, cervone, vino. Ja hotilla pete cervone vino. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, like with this, already there is a space to construct past tense. So, ja hotilla. Piti cervone vino. For a masculine, if you're a man, you sh you just uh, exchange the la for v. Ya hotiv piti cervone vino. Now, um, what else we may find uh, something interesting? Uh, I wanted to sleep, uh, or yeah, mm -hmm. I wanted to sleep sleep spati. Mm -hmm. So. Ja hotila spate. Cool, cool, cool. Ja hotila spate. Uh, if you would be a man, you would say ja hotiv spate. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I wanted ice cream. Uh, ice cream in Ukrainian is morozevo. Morozevo. Moroz. Hotila morozevo. So, as you may see already, uh, constructing phrases in the past tense. Now let's jump to the future tense. Future tense. Um, in Ukrainian, there is a word which uh, word is to be bute, bute to be. Bute, yeah, bute, no. No, no, no. It's but, bute is infinitive. Mm -hmm. To be. Uh, I will, ya budu. Ya budu. Ya budu. So, to drink, as you remember, pete. Pete, ya budu, yeah. pete, cervone. cervone veno. Yeah. Ya budu, pete. <laughs> ya budu, pete, cervone veno. 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 <laughs> okay, so ya budu, pete, cervone veno. In, Ukraine, in Ukrainian future tense, you don't have um, this separation for masculine and feminine as in the past tense. So, ya budu may also depend, uh, may also be used with when you're a man or if you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. That's easier, right? Yeah. So, uh, let's uh, use some other phrases like just to make it firm, steady, and uh, yeah, try, try to, constru to construct some other useful phrases. Now, um, I will sleep. Ja budu spate. As you see, ja budu spate. Uh, word now in Ukrainian is zaraz. Ja budu spate zaraz. 
I will sleep now. Uh, as you see, like it's really important. It re it's a really important phrase, especially at your office when you're working in the office. <laughs> uh, just just to inform your advise your your boss that you will be sl you will sleep right now. I know that in some cultures people really take a nap after eating. Is it like that in the Ukraine as well? No, no, but generally, like you know, like everyone makes a uh, look that working hard after after work after after lunch but sometimes as it was in my case i hardly could i could hardly break already a keyboard on my computer with my nose because because of that <laughs> all right good mm -hmm. yeah Budu pete pivo yeah budu pivo 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 yeah budu pivo zaraz Zaz. Right now. <laughs> so, uh, that was my short introduction to the course I would like to make on Ukrainian. And it will appear hopefully online within the nearest time. And probably on, on the apps. And what else? If you would like to help somehow in editing or something, you may uh, write me an email or a message here. And also, any feedback would be Sergio uh, Benvindo. My goodness, I've forgotten. Is for a f positive feedback is always welcome, but also constructive feedback. <laughs> sure, sure. I hope you like that. I hope you like this lesson, and if you would like to have this type of series continued, also feel free to let me comment below the video. Okay. Thank you for participating. <laughs> So thank you very much for your attention and uh, to the next time. Bye. Bye. Uh, and by the way, uh, what we want to mention, uh, this video was filmed in Value Garfu Cafe. So it's the place worth visiting in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So if you're a tourist and you're traveling in Sao Paulo by chance, Come here and have amazing coffee or have amazing dinner mm -hmm. or even a supper if, if you're from Great Britain. And what else? Velho Garfo, Vila Leopoldina, São Paulo. Yes, we will mention the, the address of this amazing place below the video. Mm -hmm. Stay okay. tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs>